Orale, welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. My name is Ragu, and we're watching the life of Pablo Potter. Let's get right into the episode. Uh, you there? Uh, yes, you. I wonder if you might uh, come with me for a moment. Yeah, let's uh, see what you, you got. to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found, and it's missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Okay. Wait. How do you know about the book? And that it's missing pages? Word gets around about Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. Okay, let's see what you got, Bit. Let's see what you got, Headless. Sir Nicholas, floating around to the horse. Whoa. Oh, this is the very bottom? Nope. Does this ever end? This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Okay. What do you need? Hmm. A small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. I think I can do that. Well, I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Yeah, you've said that before, once or twice, in fact. Okay, where are we going, Headless? I beg your pardon. Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right. One can almost taste it. Mm. Ugh. I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. <laughs> okay. I can help you with this, buddy. Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. Ah, here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. Tickle Did you say tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house elves. Oh. Oh. Oh, why are you shooting that at me? Oh my goodness, where is the pear? Oh, right here. Rebellion. I need a sandwich. A student never in will the kitchen. understand students. What could they Plenty want? Plenty of delicious food. Found themselves a bit peckish, likely. You know Certainly how only makes rookies' job easier. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Who's the uh, little goblins working here? Hello. Can you point me in the direction of the rubbish? Towards the other end of the kitchen. If it's not taken out yet, just follow your nose. You'll find it soon enough. Okay. Lots of food here. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Wow, they're going hard, getting hard to work. It smells glorious in here. Is this how our food gets made every day? Wow. Lots of treats. Revelio. Revelio. Ugh, there's a disgusting smell. I must be getting close. Oh, a student? What a treat! What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely, but... What I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah, Nick sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. <laughs> Think he supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Good 
goodness, no. Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin air. Food is one of the five principal exceptions to Gamp's law of elemental transfiguration. We can, however, multiply it, transform it, and, of course, prepare it. Then we send it straight up to the Great Hall. Wow, that's amazing. Are there any restrictions as to what you can make here? Finky supposes not. However, Finky has had the best luck with the many recipes left by Helga Hufflepuff. Her quince pie has always been a favourite, but the new fangled Arbro Smokies are becoming popular as well. You don't mind us Is here? it all right for students to wander into the kitchens? Well, since you asked, students aren't supposed to be in the kitchens, but Finky doesn't mind. There's nothing that lifts Finky's spirits more than the company of students. <laughs> We so rarely get visitors, and we have plenty of treats. Come back any time you please. I just might have to come visit a couple times. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help, and to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. Once, uh, once I once I master my herbology class, I'll come. Uh, I'll come give you guys a visit every uh, once in a while. Get some mythical ganja rolling up, get some of that mythical manchis. Yo, what's this? Just... Imperial wand head will great. Gained a new appreciation for breakfast. So they're just making one thing and copying and pasting it, huh? Like a computer. Finky keeps all us house elves in line here in the kitchen. It's alright. She's the kind hearted sort. Oh, so Finky's the head chef. Okay. I got your sandwich, buddy. Ah, you're back. No trouble, I take it. Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind elf, Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? I thought the rotten roast beef was for you. It is, uh, in a way. You see, I've been trying to gain access to the hunt for quite some time. Offering the beef to Sir Patrick may help me in that regard. While, of course, also helping you. Want to partic participate in some headless activities, okay. What am I supposed to do when we meet the hunt? Allow me to do the talking. They can be a rather supercilious lot. I'm certain they'll be welcoming to you, however. In no small part due to the rotten roast beef you will come bearing. Is the headless hunt dangerous? Oh, the headless hunt wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone a student. Just a group of fun-loving headless ghosts. Sounds more like an orgy. Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. Just transporting us to do the headless hunt. Off we go. No fair warning. I got sprayed by some booze. Do stay behind me. It's Sir Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta! Look who's here! What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Ah, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. 
wherever he may be. This man better not be playing us. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why, here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you jazz. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite clear. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. Damn, man, they just did the poor man dirty, bro. Because he wasn't fully decapitated? Night for That's so fucked up, man. Poor guy. I feel bad for him. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Okay, lots of stuff here in the graveyard. Where are we going? This way? A bunch of ghosts in the uh, cemetery. Let's see. Damn, they really just disrespected my boy Headless Nick like that. He's my house ghost, man. That's disrespect. They just disrespect Gryffindor like that? Can I kill a ghost? Can I call the ghost hunters? Who will be next to play our little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins? So Hello nice again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal. But if you do wish to speak with him... Oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? Oh, uh, let's do it. Why are you using Jackdaw's head for this game? Well, if you must know, Jackdaw's our newest member, so we like to put him through his paces. How did you happen to become a member of the Headless Hunt? I was executed alongside some fellow mutineers. We didn't like the way things were being run in our county, so we took matters into our own hands. Treason is such a strong word, but that's what we were found guilty of. Things would have turned out much better if they'd let me be in charge. If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvelous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Damn. Begin! I could do that too if I had... Discovered already? Looks like we need to find another... Right, where you at, boy? Where you at, Jackdaw? Who would have thought a mortal would be so good at this? You've almost got him. Gotta be right here somewhere! Is he taunting me? Damn. I could do that too if I had a wand. Are there pumpkins all over this place? Oh, that probably helped me a lot. 
Where's the furthest pumpkin? Oh, uh, okay. There you go. There he is. Boom. Here we go again. Didn't really see that it was. I would be the one to clean up this mess. Shaking. There you are. Why did I come back here? At you. Ah, there you are, buddy. Well done. Of course, having a wand served you well. Still, I believe congratulations are in order. Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jack Door here. Hmm? You've earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still mouldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head. And I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go. What's in the cave? What will I find in the cave? What killed Aside you? from my mortal remains. If I remember correctly, some treasures, a magical bridge... But what kind of an adventure would it be if I spoiled the surprises for you? Try to get me killed. Did someone in the cave cut off your head? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, when you visit, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I found them after he ran riot through the library. Doubt he even noticed they were gone. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. Damn, Peeves still being a menace to society. Boy was young when he died. Damn, they really bullied the boy Headless Saint Nick like that. Is this him? No, looks like him, kind of. Revelio. Tomb of the Villager. What is this? Hmm. Revelio. Goblins, not now, not ever. Rookwood's gone mad. Level 12s, okay. <laughs> what is this cave, bro? I wonder what this cave is. I may go to Hogsmeade later, stir up some trouble. They need to be reminded that we're still running things. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? 
Fuck it. Boom! Boom! Here we go, boom. Boom. Come on. I gotta do my objective. Boom. 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 Let me open. Well, <sighs> no one to share in my victory. That's how we do the quest. Okay. Revelio. Oh god, it transported us. Where are we going? Oh, it just brought me on the other side. Okay. Rebellion. There we go. Akio. Levioso. Incendio. Okay, let's see what's good. Let's see what this thing's got going for us. Astral robe. Let's tell you a little freaking uh little dungeon, I guess. Back to the Hogsmeade graveyard. All right. Let's just find the map with the floating candles, but I'm not exactly sure where it says to go. It says to go to like the forest, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, forest just seems kind of, seems kind of sketchy. What? Ooh, what's in here? Is it locked? Revelio. Ah, this must be the painting. Lumos. There we go. It's next to a wall. Some stones. Maybe it's around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh god, come here, follow me. I'll take you back to where you belong. The streets. Oh, I'm just spanning crack house. Go! Oh! <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, is that a bridge? Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Lumos. Dogweed and Deathcap. Revelio. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. Beatrice Green. Lumos. A little chimney. What's up, Beatrice? Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Deathcap. Oh, uh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. 
Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead and I'm in no mood for a clear up. Okay. <laughs> Someone died in it. Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. Beatrice, you are a... Uh... What do you have for sale? One wily woman, I must say. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Okay. I'm gonna look for a little chimney. Let's take another ground. Hogsmeade, here I come. Where is this little chimney? There's something here, though. Akio! Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Lumos. Come on, little moth. Hope you're not here for a knot grass thing. Get in there, buddy. Alright, I think that's gonna conclude today's episode most likely. Uh thank you guys for watching and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed.